Hello and welcome to another lecture on switch mode power converters. We are continuing our lecture series on buck converters. Today we will be looking at the efficiency taking into account only the conduction losses. Conduction losses occur due to the current flow in the transistor Q as well as in the diode D. So these type of losses are also called the DC losses. So PDC can be written as the loss in the transistor Q plus the loss in the diode D. There's another type of loss which is called the switching loss and this is due to the switching action of this transistor. This we will consider in a later lecture. These are usually more difficult to calculate and they are also called as the AC losses. In today's lecture, we are focusing on the DC losses. So if you recall from my previous lecture, where we looked at this current waveform of a buck regulator, then you know that during the T on operation, the current flows through the inductor L and during the T off region, the current is flowing through the freewheeling diode. Thus we can write our conduction loss PDC as I0 which is the average output current times T on over T. So this is one period of the output current waveform. Then during T on, the current is flowing through the inductor L and during T off, the current is flowing through the diode. So we can write I naught times T off divided by T and this is the conduction loss through the diode D. So these two can be simply combined as I0 times T on plus T off divided by T and T on plus T is nothing but the total period. So the total DC loss is simply equal to I0. So if we were to calculate the efficiency taking into account only the DC losses, then we can write efficiency as P0 over P0 plus the DC losses and P0 is nothing but the product of the output average current with the output voltage V0. So this can be written as V0 times I0 divided by V0 times I0 plus I0 and I0 cancels from this expression. So we are left with V0 over V0 plus 1. This is the expression of the conduction loss in a buck converter under steady state conditions. So as you can see that the DC losses are quite easy to calculate. In the next lecture, we will look at the AC losses in a buck converter and then we can combine the two and calculate the total efficiency. So that's it for today. See you in the next lecture. Bye.